Now, you, you understand, you all understand probably better than I do what kind of an environment what my father grew up in. It was agricultural, right? Oh, this, I'm, I've got one story to tell before the, the painful story. Um, Dad told me, and I have this on tape, that I said, Dad, did you live where there was electricity out on the farm? He said, no, there, we were miles and miles away from any town. And I said, well, how did you keep your milk cold? Because I knew you had milk cows. And uh, I said, was there an ice house, an ice man around? Because, I mean, you all have seen chip and ice, right? Refriger or refrigerators, ice boxes, right? He said, no, I, didn't, I don't even know where there was one. I said, well, how did you keep the milk cold? Because I knew what milk, how warm it was, because I had to milk one of our cows. So uh, he said, and Jiggs uh, told me the, the real deal on this. He said they built a box, and uh, they had a few inches of water in it. They put the milk in, according to Jiggs, into jars, large gallon jars, soaked a tablecloth, put it over top, and let the wind blow across it and the tablecloth was um, a fairly tight weave and would wick up the water and it's called the latent heat of evaporation you know how the moisture here is is low so it was just sucking the moisture out of that and it would lower the temperature inside that little tent down to about 70 degrees according to my dad and that's they could keep their milk for two or three days that way now you know the rest of the story, right? <laughs>